Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into some more of Flor Janssen. Thank you to you guys who let me know how it's pronounced in the comment section when I first reacted to her. Sometimes I can be terribly American on this channel, and I pronounce everything with my American alphabet. Um, so it's not Flor Janssen. You guys let me know. It's... Jansen, Jansen, whatever. Um, so thank you. Uh, that's how I, that's how I learned. That's how I grow. But we are diving into her and Hank Port covering Phantom of the Opera. Now, ever since I reacted to her singing "Let It Go," I had such a huge response from her fan base, and. I got so many suggestions. I got so many classical sort of suggestions where she dives into like Broadway musical theater, like Phantom of the Opera. And then I had so many other suggestions from like her band Nightwish and where it's a little bit more rock. So I'm like, I'm gonna dive into both sides of the spectrum, but I'm very curious to see what she does with this Phantom of the Opera because I mean, at this point, who doesn't know Phantom of the Opera? It's, it's such a classic gold staple, you know, kind of song and it's, it's a beast, especially for the female part. Like, it, unless you have the range to sing this song, it is a beast to sing. Even for, even the male part can be a little bit challenging, but Christine's part in this song, oh my god. And I've only had to sing Christine's part once. It wasn't by choice. It was for my friend's wedding. She wanted Vanna, so I was in drag. I was one of the, I was in the brides. Yeah, it's one of the bridesmaids. And me and the maid of honor sang Phantom of the Opera for her, or for the wedding, gender swap version, so she sang the guy part, I sang the girl part. It was fun, it was interesting. Um, so I understand, yes, we sang it in the original key, I understand how difficult the song is, even if I hadn't heard the song before, like, I know how difficult the song is. Um, and no, I did not hit um, Christine's um, operatic high head voice notes at the end um, because I don't have that. I got some range on me but I don't have all that so that's the point where we gender swapped our asses back and I let the bridesmaid take that because I'm like I ain't got time for all this. Um, I can get probably into the first two modulations before my voice is like nope this ain't for you anymore. Um, so the song requires an abundance of range and control and I'm very curious to see what Floor does with it. I don't know who Hank is but I guess I'm going to learn today. So we're just going to dive on into this and just see the amazingness that's going to happen. Y'all better act this out for me. Spirit and your voice in one 
her angel of music. See, this is the one where my voice usually caps out. And my voice is like, nope. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what this show is. It seems like a talk show or something. I'm not entirely sure. certain. You guys can let me know down in the comment section. I have no idea what the show is, why this performance exists, or why it was happening here on the show, but I love everything about it. I love that it was such a relaxed environment, because I'm used to seeing this on, like, well, in the show or like on some sort of grand stage a tribute to Andrew Lloyd Webber or something like that. Grand stage, orchestra, behind them and all. I'm used to seeing a very formalized performance of this. So I like things were comfortable. People are sitting on couches. It seemed to be outdoor and there were tents around them. And like, it just, it just felt, except for Hank who was fully tuxedoed out. Everything else felt very casual. Um, he was there in his suit and tails. I'm like, okay, you, you go ahead, live, live your best life. Be authentic to the role. Um, and I like the rock element of it. Did she or her band record a version of this with a rock element? Um, because like a couple months ago when I was at karaoke, one of the locals there got up and sang a rock version of this with, um, I think, his wife. And I was like, ooh, this is interesting, okay. So this is, it just took me back to that. So I'm like, I'm wondering if they were the band that they were singing. I didn't ask him who who sang that version that he was singing and whatnot. Um, so I'm wondering, I mean, I'll probably look it up by the time this is over, but so you guys can let me know down in the comments too. Help out, algorithm. We like we like the alg helping the algorithm. Um, but yeah, it just makes me wonder whether or not they were the recorded version that the karaoke track was modeled after. Um, or whether it was her and someone else, or whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, I love the rock element of it. It just gives it a different vibe. And her vocals on it, she bounced in between, well, she, not really bounced, she kind of slid in between being very sort of upright, operatic, and leaning a little bit more into like less formal, pulled up and a little bit more rock edge to it. Um, the majority of it was still very, you know, pulled up, trained vocalist, operatic in a sense, but there were a lot of times where she would kind of sway into a little bit more rock and then back over here. Like, so we did some of this, so we got to, you know, hear both sides of her voice and it was really nice to hear. Um, and Hank had very, very good, strong, you know, baritone, mm, very baritone um, kind of quality to his voice. Um, although what, in the latter half of it, it sounded like he was trying to be more aggressive with his vocal styling, like he was trying to be embrace a little bit more rock. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't, maybe I was just hearing, you know, distortion in the video and whatnot, but it sounded like he was trying to be more aggressive, less, you know, pulled up formal. And in this labyrinth, the night is blind. You know, less, you know, tall vowels and whatnot, and just more, it sounded like he was trying to be more aggressive and rock with it, which I don't necessarily know if that worked with his vocal styling, at least for me on this song, because it started out with him being very pulled up and, you know, trained opera singer kind of vocalization so that's just what I was hearing for him so it was kind of a stark contrast a little bit I was like I don't know if, I don't know if that necessarily works on this song for his voice um, but them together they said they sounded great together and I loved I love just the reactions from all the people who were there on the couch um, they they just 
so just impressed by everything happening and just so taken aback like oh my god I can't like the second she floor opened her mouth the girls were like oh my god this it, it is amazing uh, but they, they, they just their reactions added to watching this performance it just it makes me happy when people like because they don't seem like they are They don't seem like they're like performers or musical theater singers or anything like that. They seem like, I don't know, maybe they're actresses or personalities or something like that. But just the way that they're so excited about all of... Because like, for me, like, yes, it's super impressive that she can do this, but I know the song. So I expect this to happen. I expect her to be hitting these notes. I expect these vocals to be at a certain level. So for me, the fact that she can hit them is fantastic and applaudable, but I'm not surprised by it. Whereas they seem surprised by every single vocal thing that happened on that stage. So like, it tells me that they're not familiar with the song. Um, maybe they, maybe they're performers and singers, but they're not, but I don't know. They're obviously not familiar with this particular song. So just how excited they were at everything that happened on this stage and how impressed they were by everything that happened. It made me excited watching them. Um, it's like watching, it's like, watching a reaction video literally that's why we a lot of us watch reaction videos we want to see other people's initial reaction to how they're listening to the song or this watching this tv show or whatever it is we want to see be there for that initial moment that initial feeling it's there's something about it that's exciting and relatable i can't explain it but y'all are here watching this video so obviously you feel you understand what I'm saying. So that's how I felt watching them. It was like me watching a reaction video happening live on that on that set there. So that was fun. But yeah, I love love the vocals, love her um, rock edge to it. I love just the rock instrumentation of it. The only thing that I didn't, and I'm not gonna say I didn't like, but they switched around parts at, um, uh, what are the lyrics? Uh, I forget what the lyrics are leading up to it, but... I am the mask you wear, it's me they fear. Um, for whatever reason, and I don't know if it was just... if it, Well, obviously it was a con conscious choice because they both made the switch there. Um, but, like, lyrically, um, Christine, or, you know, the female part, sings that all the way through, and then the phantom comes in with it's me they hear. So, um... Uh, I wish I could, I can't, I can't remember the lyrics leading up to it in the beginning, right off the top of my head, I have to like sing my way through it. Um, but Christine, you normally sings blah 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 blah. I am the mask you wear. And then the phantom comes in, it's me they hear or fear or whatever the lyric is. And it just makes sense for Christine or the female part to sing that I am the mask you wear because the phantom is wearing a mask. We're talking about the mask that he's wearing so it doesn't make sense for the guy or the phantom to talk about I'm the mask you wear. And then for the Christine or female part to then come on, it's me they fear. Minor thing, it's not a huge deal. That was just one like lyric thing that caught me off guard. I'm like, oh that's weird. Eh, okay, that was a choice. Um, but vocally, song was Performance fantastic. I love, I live, I live, I live, and it just makes me excited to see more of what Floor can do. So keep those suggestions coming. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. Love you guys.